There you go. This is something decent. This is going to be what we're looking for. And there's always one more last pass. It's meant to be not bad weather out here, but we've got a northerly and northwesterly, and oh my god, it's really. <laughs> anyway, so Tuck Species is the King George Whiting today. So is this chop and this and that, even though it's not too bad, but I'm feeling a bit, I'm feeling it now. Without further ado. Let's throw a line in and uh, see if we can get a feed of King George Wally. Let's do it. Alrighty, so I've got some nice squid tentacles here from uh, a few troops back. But I'm going for the bigger ones, so I'm going to try and use bigger baits. You know, I've got two long shank hooks here. You know, I put new fresh ones on last night. I think they're size fours. And I'm just drifting over a bit of sand at the moment, but I know there's a bit of broken bottom amongst the weed as well so I want to get into it just get a couple and then get back home because I don't like this this bouncy waters it's not going to clear up but it should be right so that's the rig got a longer leaders on these ones here just want to try out something different it's hard they don't get tangled up though I've still got the engine running because I'm just trying to see it kind of drift it is it's a northerly oh here we go that's a bait straight away a bite I mean not a bait nothing too big good old humble butterfish surprise a butterfish go for those bigger baits There you go. This is something decent. Oh yeah. Let's um. Feels like our target species. And if it is, I'll be pretty stoked. I can just see the patch of um of weed. Okay, a flatty. Again, is a is a nice specimen of a flatty. Oh, and he's come off. That's all right. That's all right. Um, I took my time. But yeah, he was a really nice size flatty. I thought it was a flatty because he it was just like a, a weight that he wanted to stay on the bottom. Wasn't many many head shakes, and I just see a, a, just the edge of the of the uh, weed right here. Let's hope that wasn't the uh, the, the only fish I catch today. <laughs> Keep saying that all the time. I'm gonna lose one, but that's all right. Right, like one fish. As I said, this is nothing out here. What is he, a blowfish? That is not good. <laughs> right, so I moved in a bit more closer. Now I know where the drift rate is. And the sea anchor out. Switch the engine off. Just curious to see if the fish are sensitive to the engine sound. So I turn it off. Right. This is gotta be what we're looking for. And I threw my other rig set straight away. It's good size. Yes. Alrighty. Alrighty, you beauty, you beauty, and it's taken a while, it is taken a while to eventually find them, quickly mark this spot in case, you beauty, <laughs> and it's a good sized one, not one of the massive ones, but absolute darling, and he swallowed the hook, I felt him run. Yeah, he really swallowed it. So I'm a, I'm a lazy fisherman. <laughs> when they swallow it, it's not a good sign that you, you're hooking them up right. That one there seems to be snagged. All right. 
going. So let's grab him here nice. Got the measure up on top of the esky. So it's gone 42 centimetres. Your beauty. And that would really come nice today. I've got someone coming over for lunch. So I really enjoy that nice King George whiting. Put him over here. So big weight here. Am I stuck on the bottom? Really strange. No, I definitely snagged on something. Yes. I'm snagged on something. Oh. So I'm just moving over to a deeper spot, 12 and a half metres, and the water just looks a bit more darker. Probably not as clear, and I think that's the trick today. And the minute I find one, I'll anchor and burly and try and get a bag limit because it's getting tough. Now, at one stage, I want to put the camera down there to see what's going on. But it's pointless to put it down there when there's no fish. So I'll try and be positive. Sea anchor out there, too. So we've got one fish here, but not be a blowfish, it's a butterfish, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> the way I'm going, I think I might have to keep a couple of butterfish. Uh, still keep going, there's not much bait on those hooks, I'll just wait. The butterfish was a good sign. There you go. There's a fish here. It's trying to go to the bottom. What have we got here? What have we got here? Butterfish, big butterfish. Alrighty. Oh, and this squidge has come up over there. Now, over there, not. Oh, that one there's taken off too. Now I've got the squid jig on the hand line. Get the squid jig around the other side of the boat. Probably fresh bait is what I need to get the bite because it's been dead out here. Come on, I really want. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This feels better. This feels better. Please, please let it be what we want. Flathead. You know, I was going to call flathead. That bottom looks pretty good. The other one, a bit too small. So, two flatties, good size ones. Oh, the one I wanted to keep came off. You bugger. The line just went off. There's a big one too. <laughs> You're not gonna see much rider action because it's all in the hand line. Let's see if he can come up. Need some fresh squid. Alrighty. Oh no, that's no good. That is not good. There's around here, there's around the other side of the line. Oh my god. Come around. It's good size squid. Calamari. Whoo! Big dinosaur. Lovely. And straight away I'm gonna use some of these tentacles. Fresh bait. Right oh, this line down here. Let's put them over here. Pearl of a calamari. Get me my lunch. All right, and hopefully a tentacle or two of the fresh squid will start bringing in some nice KGs. So let's use the hand line, because I snapped the other line before. Straight away. So I'm just using cubes. Tentacles, so we're in the patchy area, which is good. I'm so tempted to anchor up and just burly up. All right, this feels good. 
This feels like it's might ripped around the yellow line. It's not good. Let's go. He's a flathead. I thought he was a flathead. I thought he was a flathead. Now is it worth busting my line over? Yeah, he's gone that way. So I can ring up the rig. All right, let's get the fish on board. All right, good, success. Flip this around this side. Let this guy come around here. <laughs> Bad thing about two rods, too much bloody mucking around. Let's measure him up. Yeah, so it's just 32 centimeters, made the grade. Bit more fish tuck up. He's experience tells me he's um he's a good flathead. He's a good flathead. Come on, yep. Alrighty. Woo. He's a good flathead. And this rod here is getting a bit taken off too. Yeah, so he's a better sized fish, this one. I'll take this as well. Awesome. Let's measure him up here. Yeah, 44 centimeters. No, a lot of flatties. Getting a couple of dogs today. <laughs> you can see now I'm in a bit of a sandy area. I want to get into that weed bit. Still chasing those uh, elusive ooh, KGs. Oh, that's strange. Bit of weight there, I think it was the, the bottom. What the hell have I got here? Oh my god. Ooh, a strange fish. Look at that colourful it is. It's like a blue neon. Probably a, some sort of box fish. Yeah, they're really. Oh my god. Probably. Family to the puffer fish. What a really nice looking fish. He's really hard too. Let's take a quick snap. Oh mate, let you go away. Nice little weight there too. Thought I had something good on. Alright. I'm just about to reel up. Bloody butterfish. My god. One last pitch attempt at KG. I'm just trying a, a new spot. Further out deep, but it's nice and dark. Oh. Here we go. Got him. Oh, you beauty. Got a big one. Definitely the species. This one here might be the big one. It's taking me forever to find him. Oh, he's a big butterfish. <laughs> but the KG was definitely welcome. I think that fish, the King George Wilding, that second one, took me about two hours to catch. And I'm just like, just over it. Really thought that was my uh, third one. But uh, that just shows to prove you just keep going, weather permitting, if you've got time. And um, I'm definitely going to be heading off. But if there's one, it's got to be another. And there's always one more last cast. There you go here. I'm holding on to him really tight. There's no way I'm going to let this guy go. I'll measure him up. I say he's about 33. Oh no, it's 37 centimetres. So the second King George Whiting is really lifting the spirits. <laughs> it's made it worthwhile to stay back. You know, it's still pretty early, but I need to get home. Get someone over for lunch. Alright, leather jacket. Now he's tangled up. 
all over the place. This is a nice size fish. A nice size. Oh. King George or that it was a good size. Woo! Whoa, man. Awesome. And he threw up all his dinner and looks like all those worms that uh, that they forage for amongst the, the weed and the sand. So that's awesome. New spot, I better mark it. That's awesome. And I can just tell the water's really, really clean. I can see the broken bottom. So, yeah, here's a good one, this one. Fish of the day. KJ biting, I love it. Oh, awesome, awesome. <laughs> He's released really good. Going straight into the esky. There's another say 45 centimeter one. Yeah, 47. Woo! Yep. Oh. This is another good one here. Quite a bit awkward because I got a an elbow injury. Come on. Is he? What the hell? <laughs> There's a big brown spotted wrasse. Woo! Yeah, good tucker, but KGs will keep me busy for a while. Lucky day, mate. Beauty. 12 metres, broken bottom. So in close, just was not firing up. You know, I've just got three KGs. Success. I better get going before the southwest picks up. Alrighty, quickly show you the catch. That's the biggest KG, 47 centimetres. Not too bad of a fish. And two other KGs. The smaller one went 39. This one here was 40, 42. So it's pretty good. And the flathead, he went a modest 45. And this one here, he made the grade by a couple of centimetres. Anyway, see you home for the cook up. I forgot the big squid as well. Donkey Kong squid. <laughs> Cook up. I'm just trying to get the herbs in the garden. Bit of rosemary, bit of thyme, and past I've already picked. And I'll definitely go for some chilies. I might go for the green chilies. Better cook them up. I don't want to freeze my fish anymore, so I have to consume it within that week. Tell me what you think is better, flathead or King George Whiting. <laughs> might be controversial, but you tell me what you think in the comments below. Really simple, big massive clove of garlic, lemon. I'm just gonna cut these into slices. Okay. I'm just gonna put these in the oven dish like that. Really simple. Fish is too big. I don't know if I should put it on an angle. I've got this flat head, which I definitely need to cut this head. Okay. Get rid of the head. There's no meat on that anyway. But I'm roasting it because I've got all this flesh around the around the wings here. Pick that, that's delicious. I've sculled it, left the skin on, gutted it as you can see. I'm just gonna put it in actually, that works out pretty good. You can go there, that's terrific, that can share. It's already taken some of the spices. Should have put it into the into the cavity of the fish. Underneath there and the chili. I don't know why I got the chili for. <laughs> it's good, I suppose. I need some parsley. It's starting to get too hot. Got to water a bit more. That's heaps. So with the parsley, 
should put some in the cavity of the fish so as it's cooking it sort of goes through into the flesh look at this side here I'm going to bake this, it'll probably take about 20 minutes because I'm going to put some liquid on the bottom not too sure whether I should put some beer or some Prosecco beer is actually a nice neutral flavour when it cooks up I think I might do that just a bit of beer just to put on the base as it's cooking and steaming it's going to suck up all that beautiful aroma of beer a bit more liquid as I said that's just going to infuse into the flesh or it's garnish it with a good decent amount of salt they are salt water species but you'd be surprised that the flesh actually lacks salt flavour some pepper I forgot the garlic oh it's windy that's why I'm cooking it in the oven a bit too windy for outside cooking oh yeah see you in 10 minutes alrighty smells great really not too sure if it's ready yet Whew. oh yeah that looks supremo look at that that there in the head starting to separate from the main body there and the skin is fluffing up let's put the fork in yeah I reckon it looks pretty good put that right here and the flathead well demonstration purposes I will grab this big one here this looks fantastic absolutely brilliant and just go oh look at that look at that oh, so delightful just gonna peel that away look at that fish tucker turn it upside down see that flesh right there look at that absolutely beautiful need a squeeze of lemon there you go so that's how you serve up fish cooked in the oven on the bone still just scoop it off might be a few bones in there but that's all part and parcel of of the fun and I definitely want some sauce just on that fish there you go that's great beauty Let's give this a try. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go for the King George Whiting first. Right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That lemon has really infused into the sauce. I can taste the chilli. Obviously I can taste the, the fish, the King George Whiting. I'm just trying to pick away the, um, the flathead now. Comparing the two. So there's a lot more flake here. A lot more juicier. Sorry to say this, but these flathead are pretty good compared to King George Whiting. I reckon there's a bit of competition here. You tell me what you think in the comments, what you prefer. Flathead or controlled wiring. Anyway, I got hoops. Probably for tomorrow's lunch. Maybe tomorrow's break as well. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel. Give us a comment what you think was the same. See you next time. Fish tucker. Fish tucker. Fish tucker, man. Fish tucker. Fish tucker. The fish tucker, man.